Hi guys. Today we are going herping in our Sonoran Desert. A few of the target species we are going to pick um, are tukwalas and fence lizards. And if we find a snake, that would be awesome. So wish us luck that we find a snake. This is the common chukwala. She is a female because she does not have she does not have very bright color and they do eat flowers you can tell that she has been eating flowers because her nose kind of has stuff on it already and she is really big so she is going a breeding female and we they are kind of common here where, where they live because they live in like rocky areas they puff themselves up so they can fit in the crev the holes and and then they they lock in so the predators can't pull themselves them them out another way you can tell that she's a female is because she has small Femoral cord. Pores. Whenever we catch something out of the wild, we always put it back. Bye. This is a male common chuckawalla. Right across from where we caught the other one. And you can and you can tell it's a male because it has way more color than the other ones. And then you can see it's femoral pores on its leg. And he, whenever they rub the fem, their from femoral pores on rocks, it's like that's their territory. And this one is a breeding male, and they probably could bite pretty hard. And if you, their tail looks pretty white compared to the rest of their body, and it their body is like red and black to pair and then if you look at on the on his belly he looks like a little cheetah <laughs> you can see how his coloring is compared to his the female because he has more coloring and then uh, this one is actually shedding on the back and on the bottom. Um. Wow. You know how we talked about the female and the poor how they puff up. You can see it with the male how we went into the hole then that's why he has his tail out too. but if you try and get him out from where he is right now he's just gonna stay in there you can tell how them they are fat because if you look at the bottom of this bush right below the male's territory all the flowers are gone because that's what's pretty much in his reach because can't get all of this stuff up here because he's like not even pretty big. Make your news. Take it back up, make your news bigger. Okay, pull up. Jump. This is a collared, these are collared lizards, and they eat insects and flowers. And they are omnivorous, which means they eat insects and flowers. The cool thing about when they run is that they run on their back legs, like You can tell they're collared lizards because right, if you look at the patterns, they have like a co collar. You can show the you can tell that this one is a big male and this is a tiny female. You can 
tell it's a male and a female because of the femoral pores. And this is how they run. Okay, we are not going to pick this up because it is venomous. A speckled rattlesnake's habitat is rocky slopes, hillsides, and rocky canyons. They are called speckled rattlesnakes because their pattern lets them blend in with their surroundings. There are three different types of speckled patterns that match with each of the, of the different surroundings. They eat lizards, rodents, and some birds. You can't tell how old rattlesnakes are by the rattle because every time they shed, they get a new button on it. They shed depending on how much they eat, which is always different. Plus, sometimes the rattle can fall off. Some things that we like to do is pick flowers for our animals at home. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to ask. And just so you know, no animals were harmed in the making of this video.